Strong winds, coastal flooding, and heavy rains have occurred in portions of New England and in Atlantic Canada. Pam Mood is the mayor of Yarmouth, Nova Scotia, and joins us live to explain what she is seeing right now. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here. My pleasure. So first off, just tell me what conditions have been like there in Yarmouth. Well, over the last 24 hours, I mean, things have been picking up, obviously. The wind speed has picked up. Uh, you know, we are on the southwestern tip of, of Nova Scotia, so we're surrounded by water. Um, lots of eyes on the, the surge, obviously, the tides. We have the highest tides in the world in the bay here. Uh, you know, things like that. So what we're seeing right now is is uh, very high winds. Of course, we're thankful that it went from hurricane to uh, down to tropical, which has saved us a little bit. Uh, high winds, trees are down, uh, lots and lots of rain, but I will say this, not nearly as bad as we thought we were going to get. What goes through your mind when you do hear that a tropical system is heading in your direction? Hurricane Lee at the time was super powerful. It started to lose a little bit of steam as it went toward your direction. But what goes through your mind when you hear that? Oh, gosh. The first thing is, you know, how do you prepare? How do you get the word out there to everyone? Uh, you know what? Nova Scotians are, are really good at uh, maneuvering storms we have them all the time just by virtue of our geography of course but but first and foremost you know how do you get that word out be 72 hours ready please for everybody and and then of course you know it goes right to anybody that's displaced or homeless or you know otherwise needs a roof over their head to shelter them from this type of weather and and how do you maneuver that so uh, we've done that, we do it, and um, yeah, we just go from there. What advice do you have for people who say we're used to seeing these storms come through, we get them all the time, no big deal, I don't need to prepare. What do you say to them? I, I just say, you know, I, I say exactly that, you know, we've been used to it. Uh, we know how to get through a storm, but please take this seriously. We don't know what's going to happen, you know, just with Fiona, um, last month or a couple months ago, I mean, the other end of the province took such a beating. It, it was, it was brutal, and uh, you know they're still suffering the the after effects of that. So you know we do learn to take them seriously. At the same time, I certainly don't want you know the public in a, in a panic or anything like that. So take it seriously, uh, but let's stay calm, and we do. How does what you've seen so far with this storm differ from other storms that you're used to seeing in that area? I mean, you're right there on the coast, so I'm sure you get quite a few systems that come through there. Yeah, we do. A lot of, a lot of nor'easters. This one, you know, when you, you said it, uh, you hit the nail on the head. We saw this coming, and, you know, Lee was huge, and we just... We, we saw it coming and, and thought, you know, how are you going to deal with this? We, we do get storms in the winter. This is summer, so there is no panic about, you know, how do you keep people warm? Um, how are the, you know, the heat and the hot meals and all those pieces? So that was uh, relatively easy just to, to go into. Um, and, and the water, I mean, we have to keep an eye on that. The fishery is you know, number one, we have the highest, uh, we're the highest producers in Canada of lobster. And, you know, we just have to keep an eye on the fishery as well. So those pieces are tremendously important to us. And you love lobster, it's important to you too. So we want to make sure, you know, that, that we're keeping an eye on, on the fishing vessels and what's going on there. Any concerns here as we are now in the height of the Atlantic hurricane season and we start to see more of these systems pick up? Yeah, yeah, the concern is, and it's funny, my, my son is uh, a PhD environmental scientist, and, you know, he'll say, Mom, it's not going to get any better. And I think every single one of us, I mean, the whole world over, really, we know like, life isn't getting easier, climate change, all those pieces. Um, I think we're going to see more. They're going to get uh, fiercer and fiercer. They're going to come at different times of the year. So, you know, keeping an eye out for that and, and learning, I guess it's it's a paradigm shift almost, a little one, learning how to just live a little bit differently so that we are ready for these things uh, on a, you know, on, on a flip of a dime because it, this is what's gonna happen. So 
not fun. Mayor Pam Mood there in Yarmouth, Nova Scotia. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us here. Is there anything else that you want to add before I let you go? No, I, I think we're good. I just hope that everybody is safe out there. There's there's a lot of shoreline to, um, you know what? People love to look at Mother Nature and say, isn't she beautiful, but she's dangerous too. So, you know, stay away from the lighthouses and the shorelines as, as long as you can. Let's just wait this out inside the, the uh, safety of our homes. Very, very true. Thank you again and be safe out there. Most welcome and thank you so much.